Hello friends, welcome. Friends, in the morning, just one hour back, I recorded this video to explain that why mobile operators are forced to increase their tariffs, which they did not do for such a long period of time. What were the primary reasons for them not increasing tariff in past and now why they are doing so? The answer was very simple. There was nothing much. The, let me just summarize it and then I will tell you why I am doing this second video and what is the theme of this video. They did not increase tariff earlier is because of the fact that there was no need. They were gathering subscribers from other operators who were either weaker or exiting the market. Like you see, Reliance Geo subscribers were continuously increasing, Bharti subscribers were continuously increasing at the expense of other operators who vanished from the market. You see, BSNL remained, but most of the operators vanished from the market and Vodafone Idea lost almost 50% or uh, yeah, 50 of their subscribers, right? And therefore, there was no need. Now, since the subscriber has become stable, Vodafone Idea subscribers have become stable, BSNL subscribers have become stable, now, there is no other way for these operators to increase tariff, uh, increase um, uh, revenues other than raising tariff, right? So, this was one part of the one, one uh, you know, theme of this, uh, this presentation. The second was that, that the Indian consumers, which is very, very important, the Indian consumers, household expenditure is not enough for them to absorb tariff hike. And why it is so? Because if you look at this chart right in front of you, you will find that consumer services, excluding conveyance, where the telecom services will fall, is only 5.72% of their total spend. And what is their total spend? For rural, it is 4,122. Urban, it is 6,996, based on the Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation Survey of year 2023-24. And you will see that if you translate this into... Spend on consumer services excluding conveyance, it comes out to be 216 rupees pan India and 400 rupees pan India for rural and urban respectively. And you can get the LSA wise breakup also. And I also did a class wide breakup means if you consider 0 to 5 percent of the population, how much they can afford. If you consider 5 to 10 percent of the population, how much they can afford and the pan-India number is this. So, you can clearly see that they really don't have the capability to absorb tariff hike. But mobile operators are stuck. They have to increase tariff hike because of the reason which I explained here that their subscribers have become stagnated. Either they sell more value-added services which they are not able to because 5G is not monetizable. They have not been able to monetize 5G and they have only option that they have to raise tariff. Now, in this video, friends, I am going to focus on a very important point. Can this tariff hike, which I had mentioned here in this video, can it, can it be avoidable? Can we make mobile services affordable to the value segment of the Indian consumer? Who is responsible for making mobile services, you know, costly? Is it the mobile operators or somebody else? That is the main theme of this presentation. And if the mobile services can be made cheaper, and if that is possible, then can the mobile operators make profits even while they are offering cheap services? So, so, this is a different video, friends, compared to what I have recorded and posted in the earlier video and it will be very interesting. Now, friends, before you understand the complete picture that can the mobile operators make profit even by keeping their tariffs low, you need to understand the overall licensing structure of the mobile industry how the revenues are collected and how much quantum of revenues are collected on a yearly basis, actual numbers, not that what was committed in the auction because most of it is deferred payment. For example, Vodafone Idea might have committed a lot of revenues which they will pay in future, but they might not have paid. The government may not have connected because of those moratorium, but how much they have collected. That number is very clearly available to us in this particular chart. And what is this chart called? DOT's License and Spectrum Fee Trends Actual Collection, which includes auction. So, this is the chart right in front of you. 
एफ फाइव फिफ्टीन टिल एफ फाइव ट्वेंटी फाइव ग्रैंड टोटल यूनिट यूनिट इज रुपीज के करोड मीन्स ट्वेन थर्टी थाउजेंड करोड इन एफ फाइव फिफ्टीन फिफ्टी टू थाउजेंड करोड इन एफ फाइव सिक्सटीन सेवेंटी थाउजेंड करोड इन एफ फाइव सेवेंटी माइंड यू दीज आर एक्चुअल कलेक्शन दीज आर नॉट कमिटेड ओके थर्टी वन थाउजेंड करोड इन एफ आई एटीन फोर्टी वन थाउजेंड करोड इन एफ आई नाइनटीन सिक्सटी एट थाउजेंड करोड इन एफ आई ट्वेंटी फोर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड करोड इन एफ आई ट्वेंटी वन एटी फाइव थाउजेंड करोड इन एफ आई ट्वेंटी टू एंड देन सिक्सटी फाइव थाउजेंड करोड इन एफ आई ट्वेंटी थ्री नाइनटी टू नाइनटी थ्री थाउजेंड करोड इन एफ आई ट्वेंटी फोर एट्टी फाइव थाउजेंड करोड इन एफ आई ट्वेंटी फाइव सो दिस इज द अमाउंट ऑफ कलेक्शन दैट द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया इज मेकिंग through license fee through spectrum fee and through auctions and it does not include means it actually includes the moratorium means what they have not collected is not part of this means actual collections are included so it is not that you know i have just like we would do in accounting you just book them it is not that these are actual collection so if there were no moratorium these collections would have been higher you got it now so look at these in it, these numbers and compare these numbers with the aggregate the agr means adjusted gross revenue of the mobile operators the four key mobile operators which is right here in this chart so if you go here and if you see this you will find that in fi25 bharti reliance jio vodafone idea bsnl total contributed to 2.84 lakh crores now if you compare this with the fi25 dot's collection it is 30 but this 30 this is 30% 85.3 versus if you if you take a percentage of this 284.830 uh, you know 2.84 lakh crore it comes out to be 30% means 30% of the agr goes in paying license fee spectrum fee and option fee right similarly if you look at this number which is 92.93 uh, you know k crores means 93000 crore this is much higher because if i go here and if i go and uh, you know do, uh, go in the past in fi24 if i place one here you'll see that i'll be able to see fi24 here see fi24 and the fi24 number is 2.54 lakh so If I divide this by ninety-two divided by two five four, it comes out to be thirty-six percent. See, thirty-six percent here. So the point which I am trying to make here, friends, is that this heavy collection of license fee, spectrum fee, and auction fee has taken a toll on the industry. It's an it it is not a very you know trivial matter, friends, because what the government of India is doing, they are collecting this amount. and then pumping that into bsnl and how do i know that look at this chart this is the coming from dot's budget this is the budgetary item i have aggregated this number and extrapolated the number of bsnl mtnl not included you know the the um, and the bharat net i have not included that that's a separate line item and there could be other line item only bsnl and mtnl and you will see that in fy21 the budgeted amount was 37.6 k crores it was the spend was 14.74 crores in fy22 the budgeted was 50 58000 crores the spend was very less 3800 crores now from fy2023 51000 52000 crores spend was 46.4000 crores fy24 59000 crores the spend was 63000 crores in fi25 88000 crores is the budgeted item we don't know what the spend is it will be in aligned with this because if you see that it has gone up and bsn a lot of money is being spent and fi26 it is 35000 crores and we don't know what the spend will be so these amounts which have been put into bsn and mtnl are they giving dividend to the consumer in terms of you know escaping this this tariff hike of the operators moving to bsnl mtnl my answer is simple no why bsnl doesn't have a stable network god knows when there will be stable network by the time bsnl will lose more subscriber people will get frustrated the quality of service of bsnl is so poor and will continue to be poor because there are no hope 
And I already showed you that the amount of revenue that BSNL is making in this category of cellular services is minuscule compared to what their total revenues are in, in a separate video. Viewers will already know. So if the government of India has the practice of collecting this huge amount of money, which I showed you here and pumping into PSUs in order to ensure that the market stays competitive, it doesn't serve any purpose. Why it doesn't serve any purpose? Because the leading players of the market, which is Reliance Geo and Bharti, they don't have any incentive to make any additional investments. So their network quality remains poor. And since they are paying so much amount of money in license fee, spectrum fee and auction fee, they have to recover that investment. So they can't reduce tariff. Either they can, they, 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 their revenues have to increase by subscriber acquisition or by tariff increase because their investment is so much that in order to get a return on investment, there are no way other than to raise tariffs. And who is responsible for making the, the, you know, their balance sheet so, so bad in terms of the amount of spend that they have made in, in their overall um, uh, you know, infrastructure, including license fee and auction fee? The government and that money that the government has collected in terms of license fee and spectrum fee, we don't find any utility of that money in order to increase the competitive dynamics of the market. And those operators who actually can serve the masses, if you had the right incentive, they are not able to do so. And BSNL, who is entrusted with this task of, uh, you know, by the government to serve their, the masses, I have deployed a suboptimal service in a band which is actually a 5G band with, you know, uh, you know 700 megahertz. And they have deployed 4G services in a 5G band, which required their 5G handset to access 4G service. Means those value subscribers who do not have a handset compatible to the 700 megahertz band cannot access that service. And the 2100 megahertz band doesn't have reach. 3G is a very poor quality service anyway. And their tower density is very low. So the, my point is that Given the situation which the government of India has of the practice of collecting huge amount of license fee and spectrum fee from the market, which has pushed all the operators out of the market, which could have leveled the play, playing field and created more leverage to the consumer in terms of choice and affordability. Now they have no, no, no option but to, but to pay increased tariffs by the market leaders who also have to serve their stock, their their shareholders because <laughs> their shareholders who have invested in in their company to and they from their shareholder money the the company is paying license fee and spectrum fee to the government which is exorbitant amount of money is kind of has resulted in a situation which is lose lose for everybody government will lose because government may not be able to collect most of the, their their uh, uh, commitments that the operators have made to the government, like Vodafone Idea, you see that 2.1 lakh crores of commitment, most of it the government of India will not be able to correct. And in the process, the government has made sure that these operators who are, who are the key players in the market, they don't have any further incentive to make any further investments. Because unless and until they recover their investments, from the amount of money that they spend in 5G investment, paying license fee and all. Why would they make any further investment? So the service quality will be poor anyway. Spectrum will lie waste anyway, right? And the BSNL, who has been seen as one of the saviors from of the, of the market, of the consumers, those value consumers, which I mentioned here, who cannot pay, they do not have an option because BSNL doesn't have a good quality network and will not have a good quality network for a long period of time because their network strategy, spectrum strategy is poor, is faulty. 700 megahertz should not have been used for deployment of 4G services because it was a it was a it is a 5G band which requires a 5G handset to access 4G service. 
you should have done it in 800 megahertz band. I told you from the very beginning, a lot of spectrum is available in 800. 4G should have been deployed in 800. 700 should have been 5G, right? So this is why, which is why, friends, we are in this deep shit. So this whole strategy of collecting from private operators, huge amount of money, those market leaders, squeezing the market, uh, you know, players, the the weaker players out of the market because they can't sustain those high license fee, spectrum fee, and keep the market, making the market uncompetitive, and then positioning a player who doesn't have the motivation to provide good quality service because they their whole management style is that nobody is getting impacted because of poor quality service. Nobody is going to lose job. The government will keep on funding them. You know, you know all the money that they have they collected, they can put the money in BSNL. Still, BSNL will not be able to provide good quality service because they have their whole management structure is not set up in this way that they, they will be accountable. So in a situation like this, what do you say? Who is responsible for tariff hike? Is it the mobile operators or the government? So I let you to decide. And that's why, friends, I recorded this video. When I saw this comment, I thought that it is going to be a good idea to let the people know that it is the responsibility of the government to serve the consumer and make essential services like mobile palatable for the common man to use who have affordability issues. Now, if the government doesn't care for the affordability of the mobile operator, of the consumers, and think that BSNL is going to serve their interest and BSNL is being pushed in the minister also keeps on saying BSNL in the path of profitability. How would BSNL make profit, profit, profit if they have to keep their services cheaper, even if they have a very good quality network somehow, which I really doubt. So that is the reason, friends, I recorded this video with a different flavor so that you get an understand that this whole model of collecting huge amount of license fee, spectrum fee and auction fee actually has not helped the Indian consumer. And that is the key reason why we are suffering. Quality of service poor, spectrum is lying back end, mobile operators want to raise tariffs, they don't want to make any investment. And government is collecting more revenue, they are only focused on collecting revenue and feeding it to BSNL, MTNL, which are set up in such a way that they have no motivation to provide good quality services. And their strategy of network deployment is also faulty. Spectrum, which I've been saying from the very beginning. Thank you friends for your time, I'll come back with a new video on a new topic. Thanks for listening till the end.